Hello everybody, this is Stringing in the Yurt to conclude the last 32 round. Yes, we've got four more places to fill, and we're going to fill them in this session. So in this session, we are going to see Tri going up against Asta. Dino Hunter taking a crack at Drogon Targaryen III. Dino Hug going up against Shin Dominus, and then Black Beauty going up against Cheer Knights. Let's go with our first match, shall we? Ooh, a very good field if you're trying. Well, to be honest, I think... I would probably make Try the favourite, definitely after seeing this field. But anyway, for Try in the red corner, we got Penticeratops. They'll have type advantage over Aster's first dino. But, probably the bigger threat for them is this T Rex. Okay, yeah, so. Try will have terrain advantage on this field with the Penticeratops. Try. Getting more points in the group stage than anyone besides Dragon Destroyer. So this is going to be a big ask for Asta. Right, for Asta in the blue corner, we have got the Kreosaurus. Asta getting through quite well in group... Well, barely getting through in group H. And yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough ask for them now. I mean, it was always going to be a tough ask for them, regardless of the terrain, but having this terrain advantage, disadvantage, advantage to deal with as well, yeah, it's going to be tough. But, backing up the, um, the Korea Source, we've got another Titan. I will say, we have seen some upsets in this tournament. Are we due for another? Right, so first things first. Give the Paki, the, the Pentaceratops a hit. Okay, so Asta swaps when HP is in the red, as does Try. Ooh, Asta does get the first hit. It'll be a stomping hammer, which is probably going to be the Kreosaurus' best attack against his Pentaceratops. Boosh! Ooh, and that's a Titan getting in, getting in some action, getting the Nature's Blessing support effect there. Good response here, good response. As a tie. Ocean Panic is a factor. I think, no, no, I don't think it has Ocean Panic. Ooh, well. Despite the terrain advantage, this has actually been a pretty good start from Asta. Another stomping hammer on the board. Try needs to put a stop to the stomps. Ooh, that crit will help. It's time to swap out as well. Oh, it gets the crit. Try doesn't fall for it again. It's a Gatlin spark, which is pretty much going to level this contest. Oh, I killed them. He killed it. Okay. Well, it was a good start from Asta, but try turning the match around with a crit. Asta again, another crit of their own. But when that, when and if that Pentaceratops comes back in, it will have terrain advantage, so it will get a crit off on the, the Anata Titan. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Fire cannon. Fire! Boosh! Needs to kill Terry quick. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, what have we got here? It's a green impulse. Of course it's a green impulse, because Terry, this Terry doesn't have heat eruption. Green impulse will definitely be very welcome. Boosh! I mean, essentially it's a free hit there, because you you kind of heal up a little bit from the tie. So that's a, essentially a free hit there for Aston. But can Terry swap back into Penticeratops? Oh, he can't! And all of a sudden, things getting interesting. But as I said, the Pentaceratops, with a terrain advantage, will get a crit. It doesn't have Gatlin Sparks, but it will get a crit. So even though Astor is definitely putting up a fight, Tri will still be in the driving seat. Boosh! Wow, this is a real nail-biter. I mean, I may try the favourite for the matchup between Pentaceratops and the Kreosaurus, but... Asta's really putting up a fight. 
And, well, if they get a hit, they could actually win this match. Oh, he got a crit! It's a lethal! Down goes Pentaceratops! Down goes Try! And Asta gets a surprise victory to knock Try out of the tournament. And that is an upset. Not as big a, not as big an upset as Iron Dan knocking out the Dino King, but that is definitely a surprise result. And we will say, well played to Asta. And commiserations to Try, who no, I, no, I think forget Try. You have to give credit to Asta. A solid performance to go through against the terrain advantage and the type advantages. And the fact that Try was in really strong form. Really good win for Asta. And they go through to the last 16 round. And Try disappointingly bows out. Right, time for our next matchup to find out who Asta will be playing next. Right, what do we have in store for this match? Ooh. Good news if you're Dino Hunter. On the beach. Right, in the red corner for Dino Hunter, we got Spinosaurus. Dino Hunter has had a very a, a much better tournament this time round. They have had some mixed results, which is the result, which is why they finished third. Some demolishing, some good wins, but yeah, they've done enough to get this far. Backing up the Spino, we got Aloatrox. With terrain advantage, and Dino Hunter is probably going to need it. Because this Allo, Atrox, does have type disadvantage against Super Eel Carcaria, which is not good. Right, for Drogon Targaryen the third in the blue corner, we got Spinosaurus. Drogon also enjoying a strong tournament. Only missing out the top spot by losing to Ultima Dino King. Which is probably a good thing in a way, because had Drogon won that match, they would have played Iron Dan. And Iron Dan would have the upper hand in that matchup because of the Super Spino going up against this Eotark area. You know, maybe a blessing in disguise for Drogon there that they lost that match against Ultima. Right. Well, there, well, there you go, Eotark area. Which will be a big problem for Dino Hunter because it's got the Dino Stuffer, it's got the Type Advantage, and he's got the Awaken Mode. Gonna be tough. Going for that Alpha Dies. Ooh, we start with a tie. But ties will favour Drogon because his Spino is tie type. Ooh, Dino Hunter gets the first hit on the board. It's an Alpha Dice and a crit block to come. Okay, that's a free. Not bad, not too bad. In the middle. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Okay, so. Time to go for scissors. Ooh, Drogon dodging the bullet there. Dodging the tragic sphere. What a tie. Ooh, isn't, wow, we've got a lot of ties in this match so far. I mean, it kind of makes sense since it is two Spinos going at it, but oh, could that be a big hit from Dino Hunter? A tragedy of the sphere. Oh, wait, wait, kill that! Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, well, Dino Hunter's in the lead. Ooh, but Eocarcaria does strike the next hit. It's a crit, it won't do as much damage because of the type disadvantage, but it is a crit. Attack boost will help. And it's time for the Awaken Mode. Hmm. Big moment in the match, this could be if Drogon gets a hit here, kills his spy. No, he'd be right back in this contest. Ooh, that's a tie, though. Ties might actually suit him, though. Oh, he doesn't get the hit, but the dino stuff is going to stop it. Going to stop that Spino from getting the crit. But big problems now for Drogon because Aloatrox comes in with the terrain advantage. And you know what that means. And the dino stuff has gone as well. So this hit we might actually win it. Might actually win it for Dino Hunter with the Anyang Guira dive to come. Has Dino Hunter won the match? Oh, he's done it! And it's Dino Hunter's victory! Knocking Drogon out of the tournament to advance to the last 16 round.
terrain advantage making a difference. And Drogon, well, kicking themselves after that. That match was it to be won, and they didn't win it. Right then, on to our third match of this session. Well, what has this match got in store for us? Ooh! Well, if you Dino Hug, you're very happy with that. Because, in the red corner for Dino Hug, we got Alpha Acro in the Alpha Arena. Terrain advantage. Well, Dino, Dino Hug's probably going to need it. He's going to need it. Enjoying a good tournament so far. One of my picks to do well in this tournament is Dino Hug. Backing up the Acro, we got Ankylosaurus. Haven't seen too much of this guy. Well, I, I looked kind of stupid after round one when the Alpha Acro got smoked by Sejuangosaurus, but ever since then, Dino Hug has been impressive. Right, for Shin Dominus in the blue corner, we got Omega Eocarcaria. <sighs> so Dino Hug will start with a rock. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, backing up the Eocar, we got the Eoraptor. Skip this bit and let's see what it transforms into. Ooh, Shindominus turning up the heat here. Well, it doesn't have any heat eruptions for Dino Hug to worry about, but it does have some boosted moves. Um, okay, so both want to swap in HPs in the red. Dino Hug will start with a rock and let's begin. Defense boost on the board early on, which is always good. Okay, not too much damage, doesn't it? Shin Dominus can shake that off. Shakes it off with a hit of his own. And you know what that means? The, so the Eoraptor's gonna get a volcano burst off. So extra damage coming Alpha Acro's way. Ooh, that's a tie. Our blazing spin would have done a serious amount of damage on the eel car. Another tie. I think this Acro is tie type, maybe. Another tie. Well, the ties will suit Shin Dominus, so the bar's filling up. And finally, someone gets a hit, and it's Shin Dominus. <coughs> and that means that the Acro is probably going to go down. Uh, Dino Hug has really struggled so far in this match. The only hit they got was with a terrain advantage. Need to get this hit on the board to the tie. Actually, I better get the codes ready. Oh, it's a crit! Yeah, this is looking bleak for Dino Hug. Oh, a flare sword as well. I better type in the codes while I while that plays out. Oh, it's looking bleak for Dino Hug. Really bleak. Can Shin Dominus get this next hit? No, I mean, can Dino get this next hit? Needs this hit. Alright, it's a tie. It keeps him in, in you know, let, making he lives to fight another day. Needs a hit though, needs a hit, needs a hit, doesn't get it! Oh, the Eel Carcaria smoking Dino Hug and knocking him out of the tournament. And it's Shin Dominus quite comfortably going through. Ah, oh, that's a pretty shame. I thought Dino Hug would do well in this match. Had the terrain advantage, but just, just couldn't get going. Really couldn't get going. Oh, wow. <laughs> Emulate the lag. Yeah, that was a brutal defeat there. And it's Shin Dominus comfortably going through. bum ba -doo. Right then. On to our final match of this session, and the final match of the last 32 rounds. Right, let's see what we got in store in this matchup. Okay, we're on the beach. No, uh, no terrain advantages or anything for these guys to worry about. 
in the red corner. Four Black Beauty, we got Pachycephalosaurus, Black Beauty enjoying a decent tournament so far for a first timer. Yeah, a good tournament. Got some notable wins as well, particularly against Ultima Dino King, and I think they beat Drogon as well. Although, they have suffered some disappointing defeats as well, which is why they finished fourth in Group B. But you know, given how competitive and intense that group was, they have done well to get this far. And they'll be facing another tough opposition in Cheer Knights. In the blue corner, with Amargosaurus. Chain Knights have been very impressive in this tournament. They did lose in round five, but yeah, they could afford to. They already topped the group. They're quite dominant in group F, to be frank. And only really lost that match because of the terrain advantage that Dino fans had. Backing up the Margosaurus, we got Stegosaurus. Very solid team. Ooh, this is a tough one to call. This is a tough one to call. This one could go either way. It's really cut. Even though Black Beauty finished fourth in their group and Chain Knights finished first, you know, Cha Black Beauty had a much tougher group to get out of in, in comparison to Chain Knights. And honestly, if you stuck Black Beauty in group F, they probably could have won it themselves. Ooh, a crit from the Amargosaurus. Both our dudes opening with crit so far. Amargosaurus is crit clearly doing more damage. Earth Barrier coming in as well. A good response from Cheer Knights. Right, both swap when HP below half. So it's time for the Pachycephalosaurus to swap out. And it doesn't! And it's, well, dead. Well, it's all on the Brontekins. Brontekins is going to get hit as well. Ooh, that's a tie, but ties only suit cheer knights. Okay, I'm going to swap. I'm pretty sure it's below half. Oh, it doesn't get the swap, though. Will be protected from the earth barrier. Stegosaurus will get hit. Ooh. Black Beauty coming back into this contest. Remember, they still got the spectral armor. Wouldn't count them out yet. Ooh, but Chain Knights does get a crucial hit there. A softening beam. Which will... Uh, in, which will make ties much more favourable. Well, more favourable than they already are. And another Earth Barrier, which is not going to really help at this point, but it's nice to see. Oh, Archaeoptrix Charm, though. Going to nullify that softening beam. Oh, is a tie. Can Chain Knights get this done? Oh, they can! Oh, no, they can't. It's Dino Suffer. <laughs> uh, that rascally bit on the sheen here, putting a stop to the crit. Oof. Is that the turning point? <coughs> seen this before, haven't we? We've seen this before. And all of a sudden. Well, Chain Knights is in trouble if Brontekins gets to the spectral armor. And he does! Time to enter the code. And all of a sudden, Cheer Knights could be on the brink of defeat. I'm pretty sure Steg can't survive a Spectral Destroyer. All on this now, isn't it? And it's Cheer Knights getting the hit! Whoa! Huge sigh of relief from Cheer Knights there, surviving the Brontekin scare to go through to the last 16 round. 
Well, Cheer Knights was on top for pretty much the whole match, but that Spectral Destroyer could have snatched it for Black Beauty. Actually, let's have a look what would have happened next if, say, Bontekins randomly survived. Oh, okay, you got the next hit anyway. Okay, yeah, Cheer Knights won. <laughs> As for Black Beauty, well, commiserations, but they def for a first timer, they definitely made an, Im an impression. So, yeah, well done to them. But they're bowing out at the last 32 round. And that concludes the last 32 rounds. So let's have a look at all our matches for the last 16. Well, that's our last 16 lineup, ladies and gentlemen. So down here, we got Asta going up against Dino Hunter. That's, well, if you're Dino Hunter, you're really going to fancy yourselves against Asta. Getting the surprise win over Try, which was a surprise. As was Dino Hunt again, a win over Drogon. Two unexpected results there. Then we have Shin Dominus comfortably getting through against Dino Hug. And then Chain Knights escaping the Bronthakins to get through to face Shin Dominus. Which is actually a decent match for Chain Knights. So yeah, are you still in the tournament? Is your favourite out? And out of these 16, who do you think can win? Well, we still got we still got our champ Diddy Darius. But we have lost a lot of heavyweights. Well, we've lost Ultimate. We've lost Tri. We've lost Drogon. Will the upsets continue? I'm sure they will. And looking at this, looking at the last 16 matchup, I'm intrigued for this one to see if I and Dan can back up their win against Ultimate with another win over Blood Moon. This matchup by here. See which one of these two unlikely heroes will get through. This one is the standout for me. Because Marn looks really strong, but against the champ Diddy Darius, it's going to be... It'll definitely be the toughest test for Marn so far. Likewise for Diddy Darius. This is going to be a really tight match. And well, whoever wins out of these two is going to have a tough quarterfinal. Right, that ends this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And until next time, ta-ta.